that's different than I normally do it. I did not set it up in StreamYard or anything like that. I just went, I just went straight to my YouTube channel and said, go live. I've never done that before. So I've got Rachel over here on the side. <laughs> Turn the volume down. <laughs> I got Rachel over here on the side who's going to try to monitor any questions that come in. Now, do you know how to get back up into the... You got it? You're in live chat and all that good stuff. Okay, so she's going to monitor any questions that come in. I'm doing this sneak peek for those of you who have been anticipating the purple sale. I want to show you what's coming. I have not lotted stuff up yet. So here's the thing. I like to put things together, but if you see me saying, hey, I'm going to put this with this or this with this, and you say, no, 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 do that separately, that's the kind of comments I'm looking for, or, hey, can you put that with that? Help me make this catalog, because I can't do each piece individually. I have too much stuff. So, here we go. You guys want me to jump into, like, one of the best things first? Like, I got some really good stuff, but I have some I have some highlights of the sale I want to show you. How about I do one of those highlights now, and then one of those highlights about halfway through? How would that work? Okay. One of the highlights is going to be this beautiful, delicious purple stretch glass. And the original owner of this called it Wisteria stretch wisteria and they had it priced at 132 dollars the original pricey taggy is still on there so pricey taggy is a technical term um but this is going to be obviously this is going to be a standalone piece i'm not going to combine this with anything else this is just an absolutely gorgeous piece of purple stretch stretch glass okay so it's a little different when i do it right from my camera see the stretchies in that going to be awesome okay so that's one item some of the other stuff that i have um now i'm putting some heavier stuff in this sale which is also not something that i normally do but there's just some things that just have to go into the purple sale one of them is this absolutely gorgeous vase with are those let's see lilacs is that what those are are those lilacs oops or is that lavender no that's lavender huh lavender lilacs is like a tree right am i getting that right and it also has purple irises on it this is a really awesome piece that <laughs> i guess i have to go through my stuff and take off my price tags from when i purchased it well then i want to show you the signature on this you know what? I'm going to have Rachel work on that. I'll come back to it. Can you get that sticker off of there for me? As you, She's sitting here eating all my jelly beans. She's so bad. Can you get that sticker? It's heavy. It's heavy. Do not drop that. Okay. I'll come back to that. I'll show you. I'll show you the sticker. Can I put it on its top like this? Yes. I have several pieces of purple glass, including this beautiful little, I would call this a Victorian it's got an optic pattern going on in the glass itself. I don't know if you can see that. Look at the ruffle on the top. This is like double crimped. And it's got the enamel. Yes, I have a Band-Aid. I boo-booed myself tonight. So I'm fighting with a Band-Aid. <laughs> uh, and it is hand blown, quite obviously. Very nice piece of purple. I was going to combine this. I haven't quite decided which of the little purple vases here I'm going to combine with, but I'm going to show you. I'll show you the vases that I have that are the possibilities that it's going to get combined with. I have this piece here, which also has an optic going in it, no ruffle on top, and it has a clear applied base with a little twist in it. And I have just a little nice little purple bud vase i also have this piece here i'll probably do it by weight you know i'll try to put two of these pieces together to kind of come out with a weight that's not i like i don't want to put the two heaviest pieces together that's going to make shipping a little difficult um but nice a nice i would say this is probably polish 
would be my guess. Um, it's off enough that you can see the mark. It's off enough that you can, what? Oh, 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 the vase. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I forgot that I had you doing that. That, that's how my memory is these days. All right. Let me just show them a couple more pieces and I'll come back to that. I have a cut to clear purple glass that I have to combine with something. So I'm going to figure out what to lot this up with. Any questions or comments so far that I need to know about? Lilacs grow on bushes. Yes, my grandmother had a lilac tree, so I, I I knew that. I don't know why I thought lilac right off the bat. Check this guy out. I found a purple bird. He is all hand beaded. He's got a tassel for a tail. And he's kind of a, a bluish purple, but he's purple. And he's, he's fabulous. And he still has his little price tag. Thing. I gotta go through and clean some of this stuff up. Um, but he's on a little brass stand. So there you go. He's really, really cute. I've got these two little watercolors you may have seen in one of my videos. Now, why are these in the purple sale? Because there's purple in there. See that purple? They used purple and they use purple in the mountains on this one so we got to mix it up a little bit you know so these are what they're both purple they're what they're not even purple look there's purple she's she's saying they're not purple there's purple there and there's purple there so they got themselves into the sale okay i'm just saying how they snuck into the sale we to mix it up a little bit all right let's go back to this vase now, now she's eating my Rolos. I have absolutely no idea what this signature says. You guys, can you tell? I mean, I don't even know if I have it upside down. I don't know nothing about this signature. Except this is a truly quality piece. Go ahead, talk to me. Someone said pair the ruffle vase with the tall one also with the optic together. yeah that's what i was thinking the two with the optic the two with the optic together i think that's a good call and then the two more simple designed ones and then i gotta figure out who he's going with but yeah i think that's a good call but if anybody knows what this signature is on this pottery vase i'm telling you this is a nice piece and i'm gonna kind of be sad to see it go get up there then I will be putting these two pieces together for sure. This is amethyst glass with silver overlay. One of them has its stopper, one of them does not. Super old pieces. You can tell by the feel of the glass. It is that really fine glass. I'm trying to make it make noise and it won't. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just playing with the glass. There is the bottom, and this one, I don't need that right now. This one has its stopper, so you can see a little decanter with a little ribbed design. Again, that's all silver overlay that's tarnished, so it's not showing up real good, but it's all silver. So I'm gonna have those two. Those are gonna go together. And then you may have seen me. I had fun shopping for this stuff. I got to tell you, shopping for a theme was really super fun. And I got this pair of candle holders, little pillar candle holders in an art glass, kind of a modeled art glass. So that pair is going to go together. Then we have, and if I always forget, like, you know, not everybody seeing this has been to one of my sales. So some of you might wonder, like, what's that stuff going to be priced at? I don't know. It all starts at $1. I will start each lot at $1 and you guys decide what it sells for. Um, I have a dragon egg. What? I have a purple dragon egg. These are handmade by a friend of mine. When is the who, sale going to be? Tomorrow. 
The sale is tomorrow. Tomorrow. I did that. I do my live sales. I do my live sales every Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific time, 4 p.m. Eastern. So every Friday I have a sale. This just happens to be the purple themed sale that a lot of you have been anticipating because I've been talking about doing it for a long time and I've been looking for stuff as I shop for a long time. So these are made by a friend of mine. She signs them. Now, I, I, I do have COAs, but I don't know where they are. <laughs> so I'm not going to promise the COA immediately, but I will get these COAs out for whoever buys the Dragon Eggs because I sold one two weeks ago too. This is a piece of Carlton ware um, made in England. Look how gorgeous this is. And you're going, it's not purple. Well, yes, there is purple in there. Love See the purple? Cheating. There's purple and there's purple. Hey, as long as it's got purple, it can go in the purple sale. Now this one does have a little chip, but it's Carlton ware. It's a gorgeous piece. So that's why we're going to overlook it. And it's going to start at a dollar. So you guys decide how much that little chip affects it. Let's see. I have a sweet, sweet little jewelry box. Yes, hopefully no shenanigans. We're on it. We, we got the trolls beat. Oh, yes. A COA is a certificate of authentic authenticity. Sorry. Look it. Look it. Oh, got to wind her up. Hold on. She works. Often you find these and they don't work. This little girl works. Hey, okay, she's sweet. Okay. Inside is pink, but her outside is a purpley pink. So we're going with it. We're going with it. I love her. Um, I got a couple of like kind of pinky purple things, you know, like this. This little pottery flower thing that I will pair up with something else. Not sure what yet, but this is going to get paired up with a friend. Then these, now these are not vintage. Well, I mean, they might be vintage, but they're not antique glass. These are purple with gold edges and they are made by the Yankee Candle Company. They're a Yankee Candle exclusive, but they're purple and they're beautiful. They look a little pink as I'm looking in the camera, but they really are purple. I've got these sweet little dove salt and pepper shakers. One has a little butterfly that's got purple wings on both sides and on its tail. Actually, they both do. <laughs> Why do I think that they were different? They're not different. They're the same. They are made by... Takahashi, Takahashi, they got their, sh they got their sticker, boy, what am I saying tonight? They have their stickers. <laughs> All the school teachers out there are ready to slap my wrist with a ruler right now. Okay, they <laughs> are Takahashi, little salt and peppers. I'll probably find something to pair these up with. Um, I've got a little collection of these little ceramic hats. Now, only one of them is purple, but that's what that's what got it into the purple sale. So there's going to be a whole little lot of these. My Treasure 1999 little hat sitabouts. Oh, three hats and a purse. Three hats and a purse. We have a little purple little pitcher base thing. I don't know who makes this. It's kind of got like a Lefton feel to it. It might be, but... I'm going to, again, I still have to figure out what's going with what. Okay. What kind of comments are we getting that I'm, that I'm missing? I'm not seeing anything here. Nobody's talking. Nobody's, everybody's just looking. All right. I have this pretty, pretty little quail who, yep, yep, look at that. We have a little purple flower on the chest and a kind of a burgundy. Oh, and the comb, the little, the little, I guess you call it a comb on his head is purple too. So, and this one is signed now. I don't know who this Nico, Nicolau, Nicolau, it is a signed, signed piece. If I can figure out where my camera is on my phone. 
There you go. Let me. Is that coming through? Oh yeah, you can. Handmade K. Nicolau. That's who made that little birdie. We have a frog trinket box sitting on a purple pillow. Oh, he's a candle. He's a candle. Look at that. I mean, he'll be a trinket box once you're done with the candle, but who knew? Who makes him? Oh, he's a Bombay. He is a Bombay candle. He's a Bombay. Froggy. It's a really good brand. Huh. So there. We got the little froggy. I've got purple buttons. I'm not going to take those all down right now. I've got a little purple-ish enamel on copper plate. There's the back. I don't think this one is signed. It's not. Definitely mid-century, though. Um, we've got little miniature purple porcelain pieces. This is bone china, genuine bone china. Okay, I've got, there's a little, I'll have, you know, little things together. I've got these little birdies here. They have kind of purplish on their wings, so they got themselves into the sale, and they're going to go with the little, now the outside is burgundy, but that birdie has purple on him. He's got some purple. So these two, the birds, are going to go together. Why are you laughing at me, Rachel? Because you're making so many cheats. Why is that cheating? It is my sale. I can put because in it what I wish. It's not actually purple. She's telling me it's not actually purple. It's purple enough. Okay. Who out there thinks it's purple enough? Who's, who's team Danny and who's team Rachel saying, I need to just take some of this stuff out of the sale because it's not purple? That was that that wasn't fair, was it? <laughs> I don't think you need to take it out of the sale. I'm just saying you're cheating. I have some of these luster teacups, the footed teacups. This one is definitely purple. Is that purple enough for you? Yeah. Okay, I'm just making sure it's purple enough for Rachel. I don't know the the little foil label on the back is all worn down, so you can't tell who done it anymore but somebody done it I have this one and then I have one that's a black and gold but it's got some purple in the luster okay what are they what are they saying Rach it's purple enough. they're saying it's purple enough yeah it's not yeah. purple enough yeah see no yeah see no. all right we have a royal Worcester Georgina figurine here, royal, or if I can do the the the, the phonetically correct, war sester. <laughs> but I believe that's Wooster, right? Is how you're supposed to say that? Pretty sure. If Rachel doesn't think it's purple enough, it certainly won't pass the tiger test. <laughs> oh, that's good. I think I'm gonna put her with the little purple trinket box, unless you guys tell me, no, 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 don't put those together because I want that separately. So this is an old trinket box. It is unmarked on the bottom, probably had a sticker at some point, but it's got this wonderful Victorian lady in a, a garden arbor kind of looking setting. Now, just like those little purses, and maybe I'll put the purses and the shoes together. I may actually do that because they're the same maker and so I might just do that so that I can get oh, Mom. more goodies. Oh mom, someone says make her do a horse theme sale. A horse theme sale. Do you know how hard that would be? Because everything horse that comes in this house, Me. she wants. That would be a tough one. I've got another beautiful trinket box here with some morning glories on it but it's got purple uh this one is marked made no idea that is worn 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 down starting with your briar horses yeah that's not happening she just got a really awesome briar horse for her birthday i steal all the briar horses 
Did you have, did you look up who that Briar horse is? No. She didn't look it up yet. I started looking it up, but I, I, I didn't take it into my room. I got her a very rare Briar horse. I actually purchased it from Fatbird Finds. They got it at an auction. I saw it. We negotiated a price, and that little horsey came home to Rachel's collection. So that's, that's how it works. I've got two mustache mugs here. And this one has a horse hair brush in it. There we go. Should have saved that for the horse sale, right? It's got the horse hair brush. Um, but they both have purple on them. Those will go together. I have your ruler. Do I don't need my ruler right now. You need I want to show them these beautiful... Oops. Knocking stuff down. We've got some more lavender. This bowl is... Okay, Rachel, I don't have my eyes on you. Tell me what that says. What does that say? Can't tell? Is it's it too blurry? blurry? All right, well here, I'm gonna hand it to you and you tell me what it says. And then I've got this one is made in Germany. So this one's, I think that one's Austrian, um, but this one is German with the purple flowers. And then we've got this New Hampshire state tray that has got more lavender. It's a kind of a lavender thing going here now. Get back in there. Stand back up where I had you. See? Wait. See? No, no, never mind. B-A-V-A-R-I. Bavaria. It's Bavarian. Yep. Thank you. Bavaria. It's Bavarian. All right. I even have some purple giveaways, guys. I'm telling you. I've got... I got, I got purple giveaways, I too. thought I was making giveaways. You are. I don't have enough. You're going to do some more. Trust me. Then I only have to do the, the four. We'll discuss it. I've got this beautiful little classic rose, Rosenthal bowl. Like so. Thank you, Hamlin Vicky. Kind of, it's really hard to read the comments streaming from my phone. They just, they flash up and then they go away. So I got to read fast. I have the sarongs. I thought these were scarves when I first got them, um, but they are sarongs, which it's the perfect time of year, whether you want to buy them for resale or for yourself. I have one, two, three. I thought I had more than three, but I have three in here. So I guess I have three. Okay, you guys are going to love this. Check these guys out. I love these. They're ornaments, but they're good any time of the year. And they got little little purple highlights on them, so they qualify. Um, they are blown glass. I knew at some point who made these. I had a maker on them. Sometimes I do that. I research when I first get stuff, and then I don't note it somewhere, and then I forget. But these were a really good maker, but I don't, I don't remember who it was. Maybe I'll look a little bit tonight, you know, in my spare time, which I won't have. <laughs> but maybe. This is a beautiful glass bowl. Now, I thought it was a Seiden Stricker when I first got it, but it's not. It is signed. Oh, what is it signed? K Ross, I think. I think it's K Ross, if I remember my research correctly on that. Um, but also, uh, right up there with Seiden Stricker, it's of that same style, and it's all purple. Gotta love that. How about some birds? How about some birds having a picnic with, oh, you know what? He's got a little boo-boo on the back of his head. You know, I'm still going to offer him in the sale, but I may have to find him a buddy to go with him because he does have a little boo-boo. I didn't see that when I got him. 
Okay, he's got his little grapes for his picnic. Tweet along with me is what these are called. Tweet along with me. And this one is picnic pleasures. Picnic pleasures. I got some M&Ms. And I got the M&Ms because, well, one of them, one of them is purple. <laughs> I'm dropping M&Ms. They, they're Velcro, so they come apart. You just take your little hands apart, but we're doing those because, well, one of them is purple. They're swarmies. That's what they're called. Still got their tags. They are, where to see it? M&M swarmies gonna have to put my shelves back together then this is a nice little pottery bowl here it is purple and grayish blue it is a hand thrown piece it is it is signed it actually is signed I didn't notice that can't make out who it is right off the bat it is a signed piece though it is a signed piece Let's see, I have another trinket box. I may actually combine up the trinket boxes a little bit um, because I can only get through so many lots. So that means I have to, con oh, look what's in this one. I didn't even know that. I'm gonna have to count and see if all the cards are there. There's playing cards in there as well. Uh, someone has a question. What's the question? I love to feel pottery. Why does that happen? Uh, why does what happen? I don't know. <laughs> This is made by Horchow, 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 Japan. But it's a card holder. I didn't even know that. And let's see. Oh, is anyone as, oh, as mesmerized by the color of this baby as I am? Now, I think it's a tablecloth or a table cover of some sort. It's all beaded along the edge. It's absolutely fabulous. Um, it is square. It's a large square, but it is square. And, uh, oh, it does have a tag. Does it say? Oh, it's 60 by 60. So I don't know what this was originally made for, except it says, under penalty of law, this tag not to be removed, except by the consumer. Uh, so I'm not removing it. <laughs> But I, I don't, I, I just, I had to get it because, well, it's uh, fabulously purple. It is beaded all the way around. It's quilted. It's heavy. You know, it's, it's a quality, quality piece. So if anybody knows what that could be, I would love to know what that could be. All I bought it for was card table, card table cloth. Okay. It's really heavy for, a I mean, it wouldn't be a comfortable decorative throw because this this beading is not soft. This is like real beads. It's it's kind of fabulous, if you ask me. And you guys know my mom crochets. It's square. It's sixty by sixty. My mom, as you know, crochets. So mom made a purple baby blanket. This is brand spanking new. My mom made this herself. There's your purple. And it's got little pink rosette flowers. So my mom makes these, they're in her Etsy store. She sells these for about 80 bucks, I think. Is grandma, is grandma here? Is she watching? Aren't these about $80, mom? I think grandma might be a little behind. Oh, is grandma a little behind? Nice. She got some lag going, but she'll, uh, she'll catch up and tell you. I think she gets about $80 for her baby blankets. And then I have another. This is a small. Now this one is just a nice little throw. It's granny squares with some purple. It's got some purple granny squares. So we got that one. Your mom is very talented. What is her Etsy store name? Her Etsy is her the link it's um granny's square and the link is always in my video description so if you go to any one of my actual uploaded videos in the description there's a link to mom's etsy store okay who 
doesn't want a, a hippie peace sign shower curtain. I'm telling you, I found all kinds of fun stuff. We've got a hippie peace sign shower curtain. There we go. It is, it's fabric. It's a fabric shower curtain with peace symbols on it. I have a wonderful old quilt pillow. Uh, and this, this is an oldie. I do believe that is hand stitched because it's just, it's not perfect. I mean, it's got, it's got the feel and it's, you know, it's got some age issues here, but uh, that was just too sweet not to offer in the sale. So we've got that. Um, let's see. Oh, there's the other sarong. Oh, I, I've got a Hawaiian purse too. Okay. But promised you, I'm going to show you some of the really good stuff. Oh, wait. Okay. The debate was, this is not a pig. So we're really, but this is between, is it a dog or is it a cat? Everybody's saying cat, except that it's got this little stubby tail. So I'm leaning toward it's a puppy with whiskers. I'm just kind of thinking it's meant to be a puppy bank. It's my thought, but he's got purple. He's got purple flowers. So we're going to go with the purple flowers as the uh, puppy bank. He's made in Mexico. He is redware. He will be in the sale. I'm no saving the asking if I got a gift. I'm saving the best one. Who what what? Lorraine wants to know if I got a gift. What? Um, I have not been to the the mailbox for about a week. So anything that has been delivered in the last week, we don't have yet. I'm going tomorrow morning. Um, we have this really nice piece of art glass. Uh, these, are, what do you call these, you guys? It's there's a Japanese. I know it's a flower frog in the middle, but there's a Japanese name for this type of a little flower holder thing, and I can't think of the name of it right now. Um, this is a signed piece, Lila Maggie. <laughs> that. So this is a signed piece of art glass and it, Ikebana, that's it, Ikebana. That's what I was trying to think of. Beautiful signed art glass Ikebana piece. We've got, how about some purple carnations? It is a music box. And of course it would spin around. How pretty is that? So we've got that. It does not have a turn off button. It looks like we have one person saying it's a puppy, one person saying I know, it's, a puppy. it's kinda you know what? He can be a he can be whatever you want him to be when he's yours. I've got the little stained glass candle holder with the dragonfly up here. I actually have the little tea light holder that I have in my freezer right now popping the candle wax out of it. So it'll it'll have its little candle holder tomorrow. There, the, it's all stained glass. The music box spins. It does spin. I thought I showed that. Oh, I didn't see. Because you're not paying attention. That's how you are. And I have this larger hand enameled purple vase. Got lots of glass tomorrow. Lots of glass. Oh, am I feeling a crack though? Uh oh. Hold on. Stand by. Ooh. Mmm, that's weird. It's not. It's a manufactured effect. But there's a rough spot right inside there. I'll show it more tomorrow when I when I offer it up. But it's not. It doesn't go like all the way through like a crack. It's strictly on the inside. So we will still sell it. I missed that when I bought it. But it's not only purple glass, it's got purple flowers on it as I'm well. I'm asking how old I am now. How old are you, Rachel? 14. Rachel just turned 14 yesterday. We uh, actually went and celebrated a little more today. We went over to the lion habitat here in Las Vegas, which if you guys are visiting Las Vegas, there's this little secret place 
called the Lion Habitat Ranch. Ranch. That's it. Thank you. Where they house 31... What's the kind of lion they are? The um, It's an endangered species of lion. It's the... MGM lions. Well, it is the MGM lions, but it's... These lions are extinct in the wild. So if you ever want to see one, you got to see them there. And they have a giraffe that paints. And they have birds. And they have tortoises. And they have... Emus and ostriches. Emus and ostriches. Well, those are kind of birds, too. And they have the guinea fowl. And the guinea hens. Yeah. So it's a really cool place. It takes about an hour to go through and see everything. It's a nonprofit. And their whole thing is to support the, the care of these lions that came from the MGM. When the MGM ended their lion, live lion habitat, they opened up this place to take care of them. And that's kind of what it, anyway, we spent the afternoon there and we spent it with uh, Tiffany and her daughter, um, Tiffany from Thrifting Vegas. So it was a fun day. Okay, What's guys. What's the lion place called again? Should I put it in there? Lion Habitat Ranch. Yeah, you can put it in there. Um, this is the creme de la creme of the auction. So I, I hope I have at least a few people who are interested to know what this is. This is Fenton. This is Mulberry. And this piece is signed by George W. Fenton. Uh, I believe it was a 1996 piece. This is a 50th anniversary. So this Mulberry Vase honors Bill Fenton's 50 years of leadership and service to the Fenton Art Glass Company. Oh, yeah, it's got Bill Fenton's signature on there as well. So a super cool piece of 50th anniversary. And it is also signed by the artist was Stacy Allman. There's the artist signature. So it kind of is purple into blue. It's an absolutely stunning piece. And uh, I hope you guys come out for this piece. I always get nervous when I put these in because I start everything at a dollar. <laughs> so I would, I would just die if only one person wanted that vase and it sold for a dollar. I know that's not going to happen. But it's my little anxiety. All right. Anybody want to see anything else before I wrap this up? And if you got in here late, go back from the beginning. I just showed you pretty much the entire catalog. I'm still probably going to add a few things tonight, but I'm not going to take anything away. Everything you saw me put up is going to be in the sale tomorrow. Was there a set number of limited editions done? That's a good question. I don't know. Maybe I'll do a little research on that. Yeah, maybe I'll do a little research on that. I see comments not as soon as you do. Somebody caught your storage unit on fire? Oh, no, that's horrible. Oh, I'm so sorry. That really sucks. Yes, that it's a $100 to $200 value on that base. Yep. How much does shipping run? I'm glad you asked that. So shipping is going to depend on how heavy the box is, of how course, and where you're located. But there's an opportunity to get your shipping free or almost free. Uh, so if you spend 50 bucks at my sale tomorrow, you're going to get $15 of shipping credit, which covers most things. Very seldom does that not cover most things. And if it doesn't, it's usually within, you know, like $5. So... I do that so you don't have to worry so much about shipping and you can get the things that you want and, and bid without that like weighing, oh, shipping, because I hate thinking about shipping. How do we pre-register? You pre-register by going to the niche lady at gmail.com, giving me your YouTube name, your real name, and your zip code. I will be putting up, right after I finish here, I'm going to put up the upcoming broadcast and on that you can set a reminder. It will also have all of the directions for pre-registering and being ready for the sale. And the sale is going to be tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific time, 4 p.m. Eastern. And we do this every Friday. This is just a super special sale. This one is the purple sale. So, and it's been a it's been a while coming. I don't. I, it's taken me. Well, it's taken me over a month for sure. Are Are you leaving? 
She's like, everybody wants to see Peanut. Oh, she said, everybody wants to see Peanut. Okay, she's going to go get a dog. She loves to do that. Don't ask her twice. <laughs> but I can't see comments. See, I don't know why the comments disappear off of here. They everybody like just, totally they just like, there we go. See peanut. There was very. Oh, all I see is what a big mess. Lots of glass cracked and broken. Is that the because of the storage unit fire? Yes, if you've already registered for me before, you're good. I've got your I've got your info. Nobody actually asked to see Peanut. Oh, nobody actually asked to see Peanut. She just I just know people want Hi. to see Peanut. What are you doing? Do you want to be sold at the purple sale? No. Sorry, there's no purple on you. We could paint you though. Would you like to be painted for the purple sale? Her tummy is She's a looking at her purple. tummy to see if there's any purple. <laughs> He's a good girl. a little bit purple. Yeah. All right. Any other questions, comments, anything? She's a, she's part Italian Greyhound. That's where she gets the brindle color from. She's um she's a lot Chihuahua and a little Italian Greyhound. Shut her down. She's getting heavy. She's got the Chihuahua bark. <laughs> Peanut is a good girl. Yeah, Bree has met Peanut. Peanut's a good girl. We love Peanut. All right, we will then wrap this up and I will see you guys tomorrow. I am super excited about this sale and uh, looking forward to offering it. Now I got to go finish up the catalog so we can actually have the sale. That's what I get to do now. So I'm going to go finish that and uh, you all have a really good evening. We'll see you tomorrow at the sale. Now go be profitable and make it fun. All right, everyone. Thanks for being here. Oops. Trying to poke it. <laughs>